Greetings, Zog Lane Quigger and Mams or Ask Clowns across food. Now, the Zog Plane here in the open air, coast to coast in that house we call Zog Babylon, the third and the final. But this particular, what, the 10th of October, 2022 speech of Mad Dog's Musings, who, you know, and I am Matt, Pastor Martin Mad Dog Halfbeard Linstead, and I'm running. Or United States Senator as a writing candidate. And, uh, you know, so pretty well, hey, there's some people who might or might not want to listen to it here. I'm trying to keep my resurgent racism <laughs> under control. You know what I mean? <laughs> oh, you know, and hopefully, hopefully I'll do a good enough job of it to go ahead and keep the channel up until <laughs> until uh, you know after the selection here which is less than a month away here I think it's on the 8th of November in any case uh, there's a lot of stuff here in this Brian Rio you know uh, thing here suppose I was supposed to call in uh, you know, up to up to the federal courthouse uh, on the 12th here at the equivalent of 8 o'clock my time here. Uh, this particular judge uh, has just sort of let the thing get around. Now, the truth of the matter is, is that Brian Rio has, and these federal judges, have violated, have violated their so-called constipation bill of goods here. What I said about Brian Rico is he's a crazed, homosexual, satanic, mongrel, agent provocateur. And uh, folks, I have told people not to, not to pretend that they have any rights. I don't have any rights. You don't have any rights. And guess what? You know, I am working really hard to a situation to where lawyers and judges and policemen and politicians they don't have any rights their spawn don't have any rights and I'll go ahead and make sure that they eat their spawns nuts here I mean pastor Martin Mad Dog Linstead will make regime criminals eat their spawns nuts I mean this is my campaign promise to you so anyway one of the things they've done is that they've uh, you know, essentially given my inheritance that Brian Rio wanted to Brian Rio. You know, uh, attorney Robert Conrad, who was working for the Ellinger Law Firm, uh, went ahead, tail end, 2013, and notified Brian Rio that I have something worth stealing. You know, because usually I do not look like I have hardly any money, and I have even less, you know. I mean, I used to have, you know, rent money from my inheritance. I haven't gotten anything since what three years ago in October of 2019 when I gave it to my sister so here they did come up with a stupid crap here now according to their own law there's supposed to be a hearing or and I'm you know I, I could ask for a jury or something like that but judge Bridget Meyer decided to go ahead and do away with that she went ahead and did away with uh, well Pretty well, the law, it, well, in Ohio, Missouri, in, and South Dakota, which is 15 hyphen 16a hyphen 6, which says that no, she does not go ahead and just give Brian Rio whatever he goes ahead and collects from, you know, this corrupt federal judiciary who decided to do away with not only the First Amendment, but the Seventh Amendment right to jury trial, pretend right to jury trial, and Eighth Amendment of no excessive fines. So, some of you think that, you know, I am being mean, you know, by going ahead, you know, I mean, isn't it excessive to force these regime criminals to eat their spawns nuts? Is it excessive for when, let's say, crooked, evil, awful, ass Tom Ira goes ahead and has my property bulldozed to go ahead and bulldoze down the bell preached synagogues of Satan and the Grandview City Hall? You know, uh, go ahead and just... You know, just bulldoze down their property here. Learn to keep their bulldoze to yourself. Isn't it sort of bad when I go ahead and make the you old know, Lana Price, the she Maris, and the you old know, corrupt uh, council critter and the rest? 
isn't it mean? You know, isn't it mean to go ahead and since you can you know, do uh, perjury to invoke the uh, well, essentially the penalty that Theodoric the Great, you know, the Great Ostrogoth, or also known as Dietrich of Bern, did when he went ahead and found people were clogging up his courts with lies, with absolute perjury. You know, now. Now, obviously, a bell priest like Crooked Evil Awful Ira, you know, Ascot Ira doesn't, you know, I mean, he doesn't believe that, you know, yes, thou shalt not bear false witness, neither did T. Rampage, neither did all the other, you know, council critters. And they'll believe in the First Amendment, sort of like Bell Chattrell and Gomer Goober, uh, Gomer Goober Carell. And now what they're doing is they're running out of money, and they need grabby idiots to go ahead and vote, but... I have gone ahead and told them is that how he solved that is he had strangled the professional perjurer. Oh, that's so bad. Well, no. I go ahead and tell them this is what rope did he use and he went ahead and cut open their parents and their wives and their children's, uh, you know, just went ahead and cut open and pulled out their guts and then, you know, braided the cord to strangle the perjurer. Oh, that's awful. You know, and I tell the story to go ahead and illustrate is that 80 or 90 percent of you people listening to me are just total pieces of shit. Total pieces of shit. Because what you do is that you understand, oh, how awful. Because I, too, could go ahead and, you know, have a little, have a little wig, you know, wigger and wiggerina go ahead and, you know, Daddy, what have you done? As you're pulling out the guts and strangling this line, you know, you as a lying bastard, you know, with the length of your own cart. Only about, you know, around a little bit over 10, a little bit less than 20 percent of you understood what, you know, King Theodoric, the, the Ostrogoth, great here, wanted to do. He didn't really want to go ahead and really change the Romans pretty much, you know, and make them into Ostrogoths. No, he wanted to go ahead and just simply cut down the perjury, you know, not have it waste his time among the, you know, degenerate thieves here who, you know, whose time had long since passed here and they destroyed their own civilization here. So, you know, pretty well that is what he wanted to do, is he wanted to go ahead and just go ahead and impose order, sort of like, well, sort of like the SS did among these, you know, Kabechi Jews at Auschwitz. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, the SS was known for their brutality, but also they were known, you know, I mean, some Jews would get so desperate here because they'd be screwed by other Jews that they'd go ahead and bring the matter to the attention to the SS prison guards. And, well, you know, the situation was usually, you know, it was a situation which would be resolved for the you know, for the good of greater Germany here. But no, that's what's going on. I mean, you know, I, I got to go ahead and laugh in that, you know, I, I've gone ahead and said that because, you know, Northeast Ohio, and their crooked judiciary and their corrupt people, you know, they, you know, you, you end up having literally where Brian Rowe comes from, mentor, is the home city of James Garfield, Union General. Who got shot by a who shot got shot by a nut, but in any case, you know, well, shot by a nut, killed by his quack doctors, and rather fraud be Hayes, another Union general, you know, who uh, stole the selection here from Samuel Tilden after the South rose up again, and how they dealt with that is well, okay, we'll let rather fraud be Hayes be president. You know, be the figurehead president, but I'll tell you what, we're going to have these Union troops pulled out of South Carolina, pulled out of Louisiana, pulled out of the South. And once the Union troops got pulled out of South, it lasted as long as the Soviet way of doing things did in 1991 and, and the rest here. So, uh, you know, I, I'm going ahead and... You know, said to say, you have no business doing that. I mean, you know, Zog Babylon needs to be destroyed. And one of the ways of doing it, you know, is that sooner or later, 
Certainly, what you see with uh, all the nuclear power attacks being taken away, and now, oh, oh, maybe, you know, now that's not just Iraqi and Iranian nuclear power stations, but essentially so called Ukrainian power stations, you know, nuclear power plants. Well, we ought to go ahead and come up with a rule where you ought to go ahead and take over a nuclear power plant. <laughs> well, folks, Go ahead and make all the laws you want here, but the Aryan Nations has a policy ever since the 13th of June of 2016 of Chernobyling the North Perry nuclear power plant. I'm still annoyed. I am still annoyed. Now here I am. I you know, went ahead, you know, and like, like I said here, I had good news and bad news. The good news is I may have saved six to ten million zoglings here. Zoglings. That, that's my term for so-called Americans. Folks, none of us are Americans. We're all Zoglings. We're all subject to Zog. We're not citizens. We don't have any rights here. We're all Zoglings. Zionist occupied government creatures here. We're not free men. We're not free women. You know, the only way to be a free man is, well, I guess, live poorly here. Because then your inheritance and everything you got will be going ahead and taken away by, well, corrupt judges here. So what you do is you go ahead and, well, if you can go ahead and make them eat their spawns nuts, you can do anything you want to to zoglings, to lawyers, judges, politicians. So, anyway, that's what I'm going to go ahead and be talking. Brian really decided to go ahead and say that I said something over the internet, you know, from 23rd what, 23rd September 2020, just made that crap up. I can't even find that particular thing here, and most of the time when I put something up, I don't, I don't go ahead and put it up on the internet. I'm just going ahead and talking to some friends here, you know, uh, via their talk sheets. Only about two or three people listen to it. I may go ahead and put it up, but it's not there. And what I'm, what I'm pointing out is that according to your own federal rules, which you will disobey, like Rule 26, which says Brian Real has got to go ahead and explain how he got a million dollars worth of damages for you know, me suggesting for me suggesting in you know, Lake County court papers that since he didn't want to since he didn't want to uh, you know have the trial back in January 2019 because he had to go to South America and buy real estate or something like that, I just went ahead and suggested he stop by the, you know, the Joseph Mengele Clinic here in either Paraguay or Brazil and become what he always wanted to be, a, a, like Michael Jackson, a, a white woman. <laughs> I guess that cost me a million dollars here. You know, folks, you know, it is altogether a farce. Altogether a farce. So, you know, and ever since what February 27th, when I got served, I have advocated destroying the Ahi Dam and flooding away pier and fort pier away here. You know what I mean? And making sure it never gets rebuilt again. It's just going to be where the buffalo roam here. It's not going to be used for anything. It's going to be. It's going to be a memorial to Zog. To Zog. Well, what was those big statues which used to be in there? So. Pretty well, I you know notified the governor's office, the attorney general, all that. And they don't care. You need to get a lawyer. No, no, I need to go ahead and make lawyers eat their spawns nuts, and then they'll realize that maybe rule of law is a good thing after they've destroyed it here. So pretty well, what I'm what I'm saying, what I'm saying is that pretty much. You know, Vladimir Putin was just getting a hard time. He was getting a hard time for, you know, just simply limiting the civilian infrastructure input here. And what they've done, what happens is that after, here they are plotting, and you end up having Zog going, hee 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 We'll go ahead and give, we'll go ahead and give weapons, hee 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 look, 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 folks. You know, I'm, I'm going ahead and asking, you know, uh, Tsar Vlad the Bad here, to go ahead and give weapons to domestic, you know, white supremacist terrorists here. You know what I mean? 
And that way, we go ahead and take out the North Perry Nuclear Power Plant or the Ahi Dam and, you know, really, you know, really, you know, really go ahead and have, you know, the battle cry of freedom here. Just go ahead and have everything go free here. Why, hey, maybe I'll go ahead and send some weapons, you know, but not, not to me here. I mean, shoot. They'll probably get, you know, Nuke kind of probably get all huffy here if I was, if I was store nuclear weapons here. <laughs> and probably Crooked Evil Awful Ascot Ira might get happy too here. <laughs> but, you know, what, what you can't do is, since they like sending out biological weapons or something like that, you know, go ahead and maybe, maybe go ahead and give some of them Stinger missiles to... Mexican drug cartels. <laughs> don't don't mess with the don't, don't mess with the fentanyl production. I mean that's doing just fine without you getting involved. Sorry, glad the bad, but you know, maybe some Stinger missiles, some Stinger missiles, and go ahead and shoot down about oh, 10, 20, 30, 666 commercial air air carriers. And and by the way. You know, they like taking out, you know, bridges here, you know, Crimea. Like, can you imagine what would happen if you went ahead and took out, took out all or most of the bridges across the Mississippi River? You go ahead and pretty well cut Zog in half. What happens, it would just take forever. For anything to go between east of the Mississippi and west of the Mississippi here, but what what Czar Vlad you know what Czar Vlad the Bad ought to do is take out of course you know, uh, power plants in take out power plants in uh, the Ukraine, but also what he might want to do is go ahead and take out bridges and dams, which go ahead and divide this big river which go across here because once there is a total cuts begin to rain for the first time in about three four weeks here good it's just misty here what happens you go ahead and you take out bridges what, what you do is just go ahead and take bridges out across this river which pretty well takes out you know about half of the country Go ahead and take out the bridges to where, guess what? They won't be able to bring out tanks or cars. Take out, take out uh, what? Refineries, chemical refineries. Go ahead and take out civilian and military infrastructure of the Ukraine. Then they won't be able, they won't be able to do anything. They'll run out of gas, they'll run out of ammunition, they'll run out of food, they'll run out of anything other than lightly armed Ukrainian 50-year-old conscripts. And pretty well the war, brought by first, will be open. And you go ahead and you say, is that, guess what, we're not letting out any grain out of Russia because it was supposed to be sent Africans and essentially you know, 90% of it went to the European Union. What happens, Russia needs to understand is that maybe, maybe what they have done since Peter the Great in the early 1700s, maybe the time is to cut itself off from the West except for the other Slavic states here which don't want to fight. Don't want to go ahead and fight with the Russians. Don't want to fight with their cousins. But what you end up having by doing that, you go ahead and you, you know, I mean, Zog is whipping up unrest with the with the Iranians and with the other here. What happens is that really, really, Russia, Ukraine, China, you need to go ahead and whip up unrest. You know, among the Mexicans, you know, the Mexican drug lords here, help them go ahead and bring in more fentanyl. Help them go ahead and bring in, oh, more domestic terrorism until the, into the Zog land. Because really, when it comes down to it, when it comes down to it, Zog is really on the edge here. I mean, guess what? You know, I went ahead and I went to uh, Soup Kitchen on Saturday. 
And the reason I went to a soup kitchen was to go ahead and fill up as best I could, you know, my vehicle's tank here. But, no folks, uh, you know, thinking of ourselves as zoglings together here, no. These evil people, these judges, lawyers, cops, you know, politicians, council critters, press audience, you know, congress critters, they don't give a shit for us. Why should we give a shit for them? And what we all should do is make sure, make sure that we have enough for our own. And no more. No more. We shouldn't go ahead and help this criminal regime continue. So anyway, you can go ahead and send, if you would, you can go ahead and send Zog books to Pastor Martin Mad Dog Halfbeard Linstead, L-I-N-D-S-T-E-D-T, 338 Rabbit Track Road, or P.O. Box 666. And if you don't send some Zog bucks here, I'm not going to go ahead and renew it, you know, in December. P.O. Box 666, Granby, G-R-A-N-B-Y, Missouri, 64844. So this is Pastor Martin Winstead. Until the next episode of Mad Dog's Musings, Hail Victory.